I need to clarify some points in my medical videos recently because the whole purpose of me doing this is to make sure that you have access to high quality health information at home, which also means me being transparent about when that hasn't been the case. Now, the first time I want to discuss is when I was making a video about medically unexplained symptoms, and this is always a charged topic because it's a place where doctors really struggle to help their patients. Now, at the start of that video, I was talking about how Many of these medically unexplained symptoms do have a psychological basis, and if we treat the psychological basis, then that symptom can also improve. But later on, I began talking about how when that isn't the case, there can be other conditions involved, like chronic fatigue syndrome. Now, even though some providers still use that, it is an outdated term as it's now called myalgic encephalomyelitis chronic fatigue syndrome. And the reason for that is the former implies that fatigue is the only symptom when it actually does incorporate other things, including things like muscle aches. Now, me delivering the information altogether in that way could easily be interpreted as me saying that this condition is psychological in nature, but I do not believe that at all. It is actually a neurological condition. It has a biological basis and it can affect multiple systems and it should be treated as such. Now, the other thing I need to clarify was on a video about UV nail lamps where I was talking about they can increase the risk of skin cancer if precautions aren't taken. And one of these proposed precautions that I mentioned was allowing them to air dry instead. Now, I can understand that this implied that I was saying that gel nails can air dry, but what I meant to say was that you could use an alternative which can air dry. Now, the third thing to clarify is I was responding to a video from an autism assessor who mentioned that if you're researching, if you have autism, that means you actually have it. And I was challenging that notion, but as part of doing so, I ended up implying that watching a short video would be a form of research. Now, I don't think it's a valid form of research, and I didn't get that quite right in my video. I'd say people actually do this as part of their research, but what valid research would be, would be reading articles or textbooks or actually conducting a clinical study, looking at data. But many of those things are too technical for the general population to do, which is why people do go to social media for information and part of the reason why I'm making these videos in the first place. But because all of these things were not clear from my original videos and I did get some things not right, I've actually deleted those original videos and I do apologize to anybody who's been affected by this and I will do everything in my power to maintain the highest levels of information integrity for the future. Thank you.